Hey guys, it's Code K268 here, also known as Republic Customs, which is the name I'll be getting copyrighted here soon for my website and for my eBay account and for my Flickr account. It's basically the exact same name. My website is under construction, if anybody's asking. So, anyways, this is an update video. For those of you who have uh, been actually wondering where my next videos are going to be coming, they are going to be coming now, hopefully at least once a week, and I actually mean it this time, I'm going to have a review, and I'm also going to post review videos of all my customs, which you'll see. Some of these customs in this exact photo, not photo, video, will be uh, reviewed momentarily, but I will be talking about some basic stuff here. Now, first off, I am under construction on my website. It is official. I've got products that I'm working on for my website. I've got all kinds of stuff. Basically, the only products I have right now are a uh, special shield, which I will be reviewing here momentarily as well. And I'll be releasing them a battle pack kind of thing too, which will hopefully get some view, some people liking it. But anyways, well, what we're starting here with is the fact that I've got uh, some projects I've been working on closely with a friend of mine, uh, you know him on Flickr as Dutch, and I think on YouTube as Clone Killer. I have been working with him on many projects that I cannot at this time talk about. I just wanted to go ahead and let you all know that there's some things coming your way. So I'll be reviewing a bunch of stuff, having a bunch of new stuff made, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy it. So anyway, so what we're going to start here with is the fact that I am not most likely going to be putting custom clones on my website as it is too much of a hassle. Each custom clone takes 24 hours to make, and even if I have them stocked up, say like three or ten, three anywhere between three and ten in my stock, when that's when that number sells out, my website, the, the software I have, will not let me put a quantity that is available up. I have to remove it or watch how much I have in my stock, which is definitely going to be annoying. So I don't want to have any processing time, which is a, a big deal here. So that's the that's the problem, and I really I really want to have orders and get them out. So what I'll be doing is, if you see any custom clone troopers, you can uh, either win them in contests. I will be holding contests at least once a month again. I will be uh, having other people use my customs in contests. In fact, I've got one person using the uh, clone trooper in in my con in a contest of his very very soon. Hopefully, I think next month or a later th later in this month. But I. And I'm not going to be putting my custom clones on the website. That's just hands down. I will, on the other hand, actually I cannot talk about that right now. I will, on the other hand, be um, selling the custom clones on my eBay account. So once a week, I'll have at least three new figures, hopefully, up on my eBay account. Plus, however many are still up there because they didn't sell yet, will be up there. And I want you guys to know that uh, I've been getting some complaints on Flickr about saying my customs are very expensive, they're very, very expensive. The clone you see on the left, which is, I will be not, but I could give the name in this video because I'm going to be reviewing it here in a moment, is a 501st version 3 ARF Trooper, also known as the 501st ROTS ARF Trooper, basically a heavy ARF Trooper of the 501st, completely custom and was inspired from a design on the internet. Um, I've got five versions of 501st Troopers, of 501st ARF Troopers that I will be reviewing, and uh, so that custom over there it was is uh, twenty five dollars as you see is so it's got it features you know custom ARF Trooper helmet. It also features hello a special if I can actually get the head off. Hold up one second. A new thing I have made a double sided clone trooper head which one side is for the ARF Trooper's visor, the other side is for the Clone Trooper's head itself, and the visor is actually covered by Clone Trooper hair. I'll be doing a much more detailed review of that in the review video, which will be posted next. But that figure goes for $25, and someone was complaining about how that has, that's too much money. So, honestly, uh, my customs are less expensive than any other customizers out there, big customizer names, so Clone Army Customs, way less expensive than those, uh, ex less expensive than uh, I think many, even many of the Maker, so please guys stop complaining about the price, if you don't have money for it, then please just stop complaining about the price, because it's a really great price, but um, anyways, oh gosh, lost my train of thought, but I will be doing these videos once a week, so I cannot talk too much more about what's coming up, because there's things that I'm not meant to talk about until after they are done, ready, and ready to go. So anyways, this has been Dakota K268, Republic Customs. If you guys have any questions about figures or anything like that, 
I will take quests. Oh, that reminds me, really quick. Um, clone troopers can also be requested by from me on my Flickr account, or you can even send me an email. Uh, send emails to uh, either republiccustoms at gmail.com or dkcoley, C-O-L-L-E-Y, at gmail.com if you have custom figure requests. You can send them there. I can see what I can do. I'll tell you uh, how much it's going to be, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So because of, in that, I will do that because – and I also will uh, do that in accepting cash. I can all accept either cash or PayPal. If you guys want PayPal, then you'll actually get tracking information. You get all this stuff like that. If you guys use cash, then you just got to hope the mailing system works. So anyways, this has been Dakota K268. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.